Hi everyone, it's Susan Stewart with Perfectly Placed and I wanted to do a little video today for all of you who have been stuck at home and maybe have your kids home too and are struggling with things to do. So this organizing video is sponsored by Corona. Um, anyway, it, I know when things are feeling very out of control, it's, it's hard to maintain the emotions. And um, one of the things that I like to do when I'm feeling really out of control is to organize something because I cannot control what is going on in the world right now. And um, neither can you. And it's a very unsettling feeling. But what I can control is um, my environment. And so with that being said, um, just cleaning out a drawer or a room or space or whatever that may be um, can give you a sense of a feeling of being in control of something. So I, I think that just is something that can be very helpful um, during this time. Now, as well as that being something really good for you, this is also an activity that you can do with your kiddos. So if you've got young children at home and, um, and you're trying to keep them occupied, this is an activity that's a learning activity that you can do together. So um, it involves math for them and also learning some, um, some skills, just life skills. So we are going to tackle the junk drawer, y'all. Um, everybody has one in their home, at least one, and junk drawers are necessary, but they don't necessarily need to be messy ones. So usually a junk drawer is the place where you put all little things that you aren't sure what to do with, and so they all get thrown in there. But what I'd like your junk drawer to be is a place where you can go for all the little doodads that you need easy access to um, when you're in the kitchen. Most junk drawers are in the kitchen, mine's in the kitchen. Um, you might have one somewhere else, but somewhere where, um, you know, your main floor, right? That you're in and out of a lot. So I'm gonna share with you the process of how to do it and also how to involve your kids. So if you've got preschoolers or young school age kids, um, you might wanna call this activity um, a treasure hunt and say, we're gonna go on a treasure hunt in this drawer. So you can pull the drawer out and you're gonna start with emptying it. But instead of just emptying it in one big lump sum, you're gonna sort things into groups of like things together. And this is where it involves math because we're sorting. So you're gonna make a pile of your rubber bands, a pile of your paper clips, a pile of the pens and the pencils and let the kids help with that. I mean, they're just gonna think they're like rocket scientists putting these in different categories. And um, you know, you can make it fun. And you can also just investigate little treasures and, and take some like rabbit trails on, on that whole process. Once you get everything sorted out, you're gonna take out your drawer, um, empty the crumbs. If you've got a little vacuum cleaner, fantastic. If you don't, dump it over into the trash and then spray it out or use some wipes and wipe it all down. And now you should have little piles or big piles of um, like things together. So some of those things are gonna go in the trash, I can guarantee that. Um, the other thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna find some of those piles are things that um, don't necessarily need to be in the junk drawer. Perhaps it's um, jewelry, okay? Jewelry should be upstairs in your bedroom or your bathroom. Um, perhaps it's um, a paint can opener or something like that. And you think, well, that doesn't really belong in that. That should go over by the paint, which is probably in the basement or maybe your garage. Um, so you're gonna relocate those items and put those in their own special room. Um, and now you should be left with the piles of things that you do want to store in your junk drawer. And so it's gonna be important that you have some kind of structure or um, sections in your drawer. And I'm gonna show you mine. Okay, here's my junk drawer. You can see I've got plenty of pens and overabundance. 
um, sharpies, scissors, tape, little screwdrivers, command strips, those are absolute necessity. Um, cutting tools, paper, glue and tape. And um, this is also where we keep our lighter for lighting candles. So I use this junk drawer divider and I like it for a couple of reasons. One is it has lots of little sections um, to keep all kinds of goodies. Um, so that's the reason I like that. But if you don't have one of these, it's fine. There are a variety of things that you can use. You can use some baskets like this or some interlocking bins or you might have something like this up in an office drawer that you could repurpose, um, just a drawer divider. If you don't have any of those things, um, you could even use little sections of um, boxes and you cut down the boxes and you put them inside the drawer and put like things together like that. So now that we're talking about the things inside, one of the funny things that um, we do is when we use pens and pencils, well, a lot of people do this. I even have to catch myself sometimes doing it. Um, but you know, you, you go to grab a pen and you start to write and it doesn't work right or you don't like it or whatever. And what do you do? You just throw it back in the drawer. And that's one of the ways that we get like too many pens, right? So instead of throwing it in the drawer, let's get rid of it, throw it away. We don't wanna keep reusing the same pen that no longer works. If you find yourself with an abundance of pens that work, you can put them in a Ziploc. Um, you can donate them to a school. Um, you can put them in an area where you store um, office supplies or school supplies. And then next fall, instead of going and buying, uh, another whole pack of pens for your kids, um, you can have them choose the pens and pencils out of that bag. Um, but here's another activity your kids can do. Give them a pad of paper and have them test all the pens and markers in the drawer. And that's a great activity for them to do and um, to let them throw away the ones that are no longer working. I hope this activity is a good thing for you, something that makes you feel in control, something that you enjoy doing with your kids. And um, if you do organize your junk drawer, I'd love to see a before and after picture. Don't forget the before picture because when you take the before and the after, you really see your progress and it feels so good to um, have accomplished something. So. Um, please post your before and afters. We'd love to see them. And if you'd like to tackle a bigger project, we do offer virtual organizing and would love to be your coach and coach you through the process. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.